Um, I think we all have the same goals in mind. You know, we've been working, obviously not playing last year. We've all been working for a while towards the same goal, and that's to go to a bowl game to win that bowl game. So, you know, it's, it's, there's nothing really other to say than that. We, in terms of what we've been doing, putting in the work, it's all it's all towards a bowl game. We all know we all have the same expectation for the season. What was last year like for you yeah. personally? <laughs> Personally, it was different, very different. You know, I've been here a while, so going through last year with no season and everything, it's like nothing we've ever been through before. So it was all about just adjusting to what was going on. And, you know, I think as a team, we did a really good job just putting in the work and making things, making the schedule work and, you know, doing the things we had to do to get ready for this year. Were you um, pretty much working out on your own at that point? Um, towards the beginning, I mean, until we, not until we went home, like, we were here working out all summer, and then we were working out in the, the fall, practicing and stuff. And then towards the winter time, yeah, when we get break, we go home and work out on our own. But other than that, we were working out all together, and you know, it was good. So, uh, what have you been doing to gear up for this year? Uh, you know, just trying to stay consistent, just doing the same things that I've been doing in the past three, four years: um, film, weights, football. You know, just you got you got to stay on top of all that stuff in order to perform the way you want. How about your personal goals this year? Uh, personal goals? I mean, I have some in my mind, and you know, it's things that I would like to reach, and I'll, uh, eventually I'll probably share that with you guys. But you know, it's things that I just keep in my mind that will keep me striving forward. What do you fe feel your strength is out in the field? Strength? Uh, I think just the ability to do it all. You know, catch, run, block. You know, it, as a tight end, you got to be able to do it all. If you're going to consider yourself a tight end, you want to be able to do all those three things because that's what the position entitles. So if you can do that, you're good to go. How excited are you guys for this year? Oh, it's it's going to be a lot of fun. It's been it's been a long time coming. You um, do you feel you guys are even more hungry to, to get on the field after last year? Absolutely. You know, you take a year off. Like these guys, all we've been doing is working together and. It's a long time to take off, a year and a half. You're talking, we haven't played since 2019, which is going on two years now. So it's uh, it's going to be really exciting, especially that first time touching the field. It's going to be – I'm excited. These guys are excited and we're ready to go. You have one of your Southington teammates on the team too. Oh, yeah, Jake yeah. Flynn. Yeah, yeah, he's a hard worker. You know, mm -hmm. it's really cool to have him here. Yeah. And, you know, it's – I love having him here. He, he just he doesn't talk much, but he just works, and that's mm -hmm. that's what I love about him. All right, Jay. Well, good luck this year. Hey, thank, thank you for your you. time today. Um, well, Jay, he's he's the guy that I I coach with him being a tight end, and yeah. obviously Jake's a receiver, but yeah. um, but they're both great kids. They uh, they both work really hard, and um, I always kid like we need more Southington guys from from there up on the team, and, um, but just. With Jay, um, he's a tremendous leader, hard worker. And I know he. There was a lot of. Uh, he was the man there at Southington throughout his high school career. So, um, so I, I know fans will be excited to see what he does his senior year. What, what, is, what does he bring to the field? He brings a lot of different attributes. He's a, first and foremost, he's a good leader for us, um, and then second. He brings uh, an athleticism with a with a body type that's hard to find because um, he can he can block and do all that stuff and then he can be split out and take advantage of matchups because he's athletic and has good speed and has very good hands. So he brings a versatility for our offense that allows us to do a lot of different things. Um, are you expect him to, to go out pretty strong this year? I do, yeah. I do, and he's 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 really looking forward to it. And he's worked really hard and put himself into a position to really have a a big senior. Year. I know his junior year he, he was really productive for us. He's like I said, he's the second leading receiver we have coming back from that 19 team. Um, and we've already talked about he wants to do more. He wants to be involved more and have more catches, more touchdowns. And um, I expect him to do that this year. Perfect. Thank you. Um, yeah. Bowl game. We're gonna hopefully get a little bit better every single day. I'll practice oh, yeah. throughout training camp. How is um, you know, your, your expectation? How has um, your preparations been for this year after missing last year? Um, I mean, at first it was a little different just because we hadn't, like last year we didn't have to prepare, prepare for like games and stuff. But um, coming into this year, I think we all feel more ready than, than like ever before, just because we had so much time off and so much time to to work and train and stuff. So. C A L. I mean, just being humble and just like putting my head down, working instead of like 
His nickname Sweet Feet. Sweet Feet, yeah? Yeah. 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 Tell me about that nickname. Uh, I mean, Coach just gave me that nickname. Um, you don't have to ask them why. I, I'm not sure. <laughs> they can tell you. Yeah. Tell me about you know what it, what it feels like to, to be a Husky and, and to play on this team. Um, I mean, growing up, I was a UConn Husky fan. Watched them on TV. Um, being from Sellington, so uh, wasn't a far drive to the stadium, but it's exciting because you know you watch all these guys on TV and then you can be a part of it now. So I mean, it's, it's inspirational and um, just exciting. Do you have any personal goals you want to you want to accomplish this year? Um, more more so team stuff is yeah. what I'm focused on. Um, nothing individual, but um, I guess just to get better every single day for me and for everyone. And just stay consistent. All right, Jacob is, is what you want as a football player. You know, he shows up and he's ready to work. He's the same every day. There is never, you know, he may make a play, he doesn't get too high. If he doesn't make a play, he doesn't get low, he comes in ready to work. He's a guy that, you know he's the right type of teammate. Whenever he makes a play, everybody's excited. You know what I mean? He's that type of young man. And, you know, he's developed confidence. He's, he's been a talented player, but he's developed some confidence, some on-field confidence, uh, which has been fun to see and fun to watch. Is there excitement around the team this year? Oh, it's, it's electric right now.